Hi guys, welcome to another Learning Electronics Repair video. Um, I have another laptop here. And this one's something a bit different. It works, but it's got a problem. You know, you can see here, this is all split. And this is, well, to me a bit unusual because if these things tend to split, they tend to split in the, in the base, and this is split up here in the, the screen, in the lid. So the guy brought this in and said, uh, can I asked if I could fix it. Can you fix it? And I said, well, <laughs> maybe. I mean, it's obviously, I mean, I can't even squeeze this together. So something bad's happened here. Something bad's gone on. So let's see if we can get this apart and figure out what's actually happened to this. I'll just re remove the bandage first. Yeah, let's get rid of the bandage. Uh, good stuff, sellotape, eh? Yeah, but though, actually, sellotape's like fascinating stuff, you know. It's like... It's sticky on one side, and it sticks to everything, but it isn't sticky on the other side, and it doesn't stick to itself. Yeah? So it sticks to everything, but it doesn't stick to itself, otherwise you wouldn't be able to unroll it, would you? Hey? <laughs> Strange. Oh, okay, so I can see this better than you. So this is, this is where it's all gone horribly wrong. Um, that looks like, yeah. Looks like this just actually clips off. Let's face you. That's come off very easily, actually. Uh, looks like something. Mm, there's like some sticky tape or something in here that possibly should be part of. of um, yeah. <laughs> Is it the part of the top or part of the bottom? I think it's part of the bottom off, you know. I think it'd be good effectively to use this technique here let's see yeah uh, maybe it was part of the other half but anyway <laughs> let's have a look what's happened so yeah the hinge here is like completely detached from the screen that's what's happened with it and it's kind of like hanging on by the other side i mean this thing that i've just taken off this sticky thing i can stick this back down again so yeah, let's see if we can do anything with this. Yeah, so the hinge has completely come away from the, the screen section, basically. Um, I think that it's stuck to the back of here, effectively, like the uh, little brass inserts. This, this bit fell off, I don't think that's a problem. There's bits of plastic everywhere, which is obviously where those inserts fit into this plastic top of this. I think uh, what I'll do is I'll actually... Uh, undo the screws and take the screen off altogether and then let's have a look to see at the damage we have inside here and if we can do anything with it so we can see this is the the good side and there's like a little plastic ring here with like one of these little brass inserts there's another one here and there's a third one on this side which is also broken off yeah it's there and it's possible to see where that came from here so that, that's the the uh, allegedly good side yeah there's a little bit of plastic in here as well get that out so that's that's the good side the bad side is like completely destroyed so we have one plastic insert here uh, another one here completely broken away and the third one here so all three of these are actually completely broken away um, the question is can I fix it uh, I could try using some arrow dart to stick these things back on first I might get two of them to stick uh, if I use arrow dart on these so I could use arrow dart to do that and then Maybe, well, probably the third one as well, actually. And then I'm thinking uh, to effectively use hot melt glue as well and uh, then try to get the screws in, basically. And that, that's in place. So that's my first attempt on this, is to use epoxy resin, owl dye, as I call it, it's a brand name, to stick these back onto here and then effectively use a mixture of that and hot milk glue to hold it together. So, first of all, I'll try to stick these things back on with some alodite. Um, First thing with this, these hinges are really stiff. Uh, that's not going to help. 
So if I do fix this, it's just going to break again. Um, so I'll just find a spanner that actually uh, fits these if I can. If I have a spanner that actually fits these. Let's have a look. <laughs> you would think that amongst all these spanners, I'd actually have one that fits. Oh, no, I have one that fits. Uh, so we'll just uh, get it on there. Oh, it, yeah, it does fit. So I'm just going to loosen the hinge a little bit. A little bit more. Yeah, that, that's going quite easily now. Maybe just a touch more. Okay. Yeah, that's working now, okay. And uh, same with the other side. Uh, just uh, get over to here. So again, it's quite stiff. And we'll just uh, loosen this a little bit. Yeah, okay. So they, they, they are quite free to move now. So that means I won't have to put excessive pressure on to actually close the lid and open the lid. So now, this is where we need to repair the damage. So we have one that fits here. Yeah, we have one that fits in here. And I have around the third one. So I'm actually going to use a bit of Araldite um, epoxy resin, the two-part resin. This was actually the other way up, you can see. And I'm going to use that to actually uh, fix these. And then let's see if we can probably put some hot melt glue as well. Screw it on and see if it's then working okay. Okay, so they're stuck. I use this stuff. Super tight, this one comes in various brands. Owl Diet's a common one in the UK. So whatever is similar to this in your part of the world is the thing to use. So I now need to leave this to set overnight and then tomorrow we'll see if we can get some hot melt glue as well and then stick the hinge on. And hopefully that will then work. Okay guys, so I've taken some uh, epoxy resin and I've glued these in place. Um, there was kind of like a, a bit of a ridge where it had broken off, so it was quite easy to get them into the right location. And um, I've done the same on the other side of the one that was broken. So if I now just uh, position this, need to get the uh, video cable above there. And if I can hold these, I'll show you. That now actually, th th these, these, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Try and lift these as I show you. Uh, there you go. So those actually now line up nicely. Just get the other end in line. Yeah, there we go. It's all in line. So they line up nicely. I've loosened the hinges, so there's a lot less strain. But I'm now going to get some hot melt glue behind this as well before I put the screws in, just to help to hold this in place properly. I'll just get some uh, glue into here. Obviously, try not to get it into the uh, screws and make sure I get the wires in the right place. So we'll just uh, we'll just put a little bit on here. So, and I'll just do the same on the other side. Okay, done that. And then I'll try and just get it into, into position now. So I've put the bottom half of these like little hinges in place. And it's just a matter of uh, lining this all up now to the uh, screw holes before the glue sets there on one end in. And this end is a little bit more tricky, but I'm sure I can do it. Okay. Right, it's in place, so it's a matter now just holding this steady. That's set pretty well. So I've put the two screws at the top of the screen uh, just to hold it in place. And now I should be able to get these screws into place into the actual little brass inserts. Just, I'm not really like, I'm going to tighten them into the tight, but not so I over tighten them, yeah? So uh, just. Uh, so it sits nice and flat. Okay. 
Okay, so those are all in place. Now I'm just going to put a bit more hot melt glue uh, just around here, uh, just helps us to seat this in. Uh, I've done the other side as well, and then we can put the put the top uh, cover on. Yeah. Put it on there. Let's just get the uh, actual top part, and we can set this into place. Push it in. And that hot melt should help to seal that in now, so that the, the screws shouldn't be able to come loose. Oh, just push it all on. It's all on there, yeah. And that's pretty much fixed the problem. Okay, can you go? Okay, just let that all cool down now, and then there we can see if it's working okay. That's ready, that's done. Working nicely now, yeah. We're ready for the customer to have it back. Okay, job done. That's how to fix hinges on laptops. See you soon now, guys. Ciao for now.